What was I just talking about? This really pisses me off. And you know, it's kind of funny because Chicago is no more. <laughs> Thank you, Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I would have been mad if it was a better coffee mug. Like, if, if it was my anti-government coffee mug, I would have been so pissed. But because it was my Chicago coffee mug, I don't give a fuck. I should give a fuck, but I don't. Because this is the kind of shit they do, because they're cats. I, I literally have to just lock everything. <laughs> yeah, you do. Lightfoot is an interesting name for somebody who works for the clamp down. Wouldn't you say? You start wearing blue and brown, you're working for the clamp down. There's like the clash. I find it really interesting that Joe Strummer was a socialist, considering that he didn't believe in clampdowns, but that's kind of what happens, Joe. <laughs> uh, everybody's got a blind spot. I do you think that Joe Strummer had a heart of gold? You know, he cried when he found out that these soldiers were listening to uh, Rock the Casbah. I think it was during the Gulf War, was it? <laughs> One of them. One of them, right? <laughs> So many. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that George Carlin would have cried too if he, if he knew that one of his bits was used during a political ad in order to spite Donald Trump. And I'm sure he wouldn't have been a fan of Donald Trump, but he would have found the whole thing funny though. Yeah, he would. He would have understood why it happened too. Unlike the majority of comedians. <laughs> comedians. Get it? The majority of them. They might as well get that fucking kami hammer or whatever the fuck it is, like, and print it on their forehead. Oh, shit. I can't believe y'all broke that shit. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I was wondering where it was. See? That's Chicago. <laughs> yeah, I used to live in Naperville. Let's see if we can put it back together. Are you ever going to put Chicago back together? Probably not. Oh. You know I'm going to save this though, right? You always do. Yeah, look. Look. Look at my collection of broken coffee mugs. Look at that. I broke that one in my place of work. Cats broke this one. Let's see. There's another one that I have. Oh, this one. <laughs> I believe I broke that one. Can't blame my cats for everything. They're not the government. <laughs> no. Yeah. It is sad what happened in Chicago. It's gonna happen to the entirety of America, just to let you know. Because that's what they want. They want destruction and chaos. They gonna get it. Because they put women in charge. And even if they have men in charge, that's funny, because they act just like women. <laughs> It's incompetence. Now, I'm sure that people are wondering if I feel this way, like, all the way around. Like, I believe that there are exceptions to the rule, but we should not change the rules to fit the exception. Okay? So, Margaret Thatcher was exception to the rule. Um, Tulsi Gabbard 
is the exception to the rule. The fact that she was a major in the military, that's really impressive. Um, and you know, that bitch is just smoking hot. I love that gray streak. Holy shit. <sighs> oh, but, uh, yeah, she's, she's a really smart lady. There are always going to be exceptions to the rule, okay? But we don't change all the rules to go along with this progressive bullshit. Because it really is the progressive bullshit on both sides, not just the left. Not just the left. Eisenhower worked for Planned Parenthood, okay? Fuck oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the hat. Ready to strike. <laughs> it's like, dude, that's, that's really... It's really uh, intense there. Like I said before, you gotta find the opportune time and place to strike. You gotta find the opportune time and place to say and do what you wanna say and do. I think this is a problem with everybody is they have really miserable timing. Maybe they should take it from Amy Gross, since, you know, Amy Gross is the only actual comedian in this entire country. Um, you gotta be smarter about these things. Otherwise, you're gonna be in the back of a cop car, okay? <laughs> yeah. We're going to try to piece back Chicago. We're going to try to piece it back together any way we can. But there's only so much we can do. You know. At least I'm not the mayor, right? <laughs> true. Very true. Let's see. Where does that go? Oh, right there? Nope. Nope. We'll figure it out. Okay. I got to feed them. Even though they don't deserve it because they broke another coffee mug, I shouldn't feed you for five days because of this shit. And then, then you won't fuck with anything. That's not true. They'll fuck with shit even more because they're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> but, yeah, I told myself that that's why I got this super glue. It was like, uh, I'm going to glue these coffee mugs back together and turn them into some giant art piece with all my broken coffee mugs. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how that goes.